after pulwama attack uh, and balakot air strikes do you see where are you fresh challenges after pulwama and balakot do you see any fresh challenge to your political strategy if the, yes the, do you really think that it has given a perception that bjp has become more courageous my second question well the first thing is the first question is 45 of our people were brutally murdered in jammu and kashmir and i understand that whatever opportunity the pakistanis will get they will take the question is what did the government do to protect those 45 people what did the government do to ensure that the pakistanis could not plant a bomb near the bus so that's the first question second question is the man who planted the bomb the architect of that bomb is a man called masood azhar released by the bjp sent to pakistan sent to kandahar by the bjp national security adviser was involved in that deal so the bjp needs to explain exactly why they sent that criminal back that's the question of terrorism the principal issues in this election there are three or four issues the single biggest issue that everybody feels is there is unemployment and joblessness in the country and narendra modi is a flop show when it comes to unemployment and job creation is a flop show nothing but he makes these statements about make in india start up india these all fake statements the reality is india has the highest unemployment it has had in 45 years that is going to be a huge issue in the election and every youngster understands that second the state of india's farmers and i have seen the farmers of tamil nadu in janta mantar i remember that i don't forget and i remember the response of the government to those people okay so the state of the farmers is second issue and the complete disrespect that the bjp government has towards farmers that's the second issue the third issue is the wholesale attack on our institutions removing the cbi chief at 130 at night demonetizing without asking the rbi chief rbi chief resigns supreme court judges come out and say uh, we are not being allowed to do our work so the wholesale attack on our institutions the attack on tamil culture the ta attack on the tamil language and this is not just tamil nadu all states in india are feeling that the northeast is feeling it the south is feeling it everybody is feeling it this country is not going to be ruled from nagpur it's simple as that every state has the right to have a voice in this country and we will guarantee that every single state including tamil nadu has a voice in where this country goes we have a government in tamil nadu frankly that is remote controlled by the prime minister and this is an insult to the tamil people it's an absolute insult to the tamil people and i understand the tamil people sentiment that they are in first time in many years they are being run from delhi and it is unacceptable to me i think the tamil people should run their own state 